hey, are you still not convinced fully whether you should start spending some of your free time or some of your work time looking into robotic process automation tools like Power Automate Desktop? If you're not, or if you're in a situation where you need to convince your company that you need to maybe make a department looking into these things, but you don't really have the selling argument yet, then maybe this video can help you. I've collected five, what I believe is good use cases, simple use cases for what you could do with process automation. So let's just get right into it. The five videos, the five processes that I've collected for today, um, all stem from not 100% identical issues that I've faced professionally, but, but they're all derived from situations that I've had at work. So if we just jump right into it, in no particular order, these are the five uh, use cases that you could argue uh, to either your boss or to yourself um, are good use cases and why you should start learning these, uh, these tools. So the first one is uh, actually a very close resemblance of an issue that, I, uh, that I'm currently facing at, at work. So the situation that I'm dealing with at work is that I have a report. So I'm an analyst professionally and part of my job, part of my new job is that I create a bunch of reports that tracks different kind of error issues that we see in production in our, in our systems. Um, so I use uh, SQL to write all the scripts. I use Power BI to visualize <clears throat> all the scripts and the error counts. And then I pin different visuals from the different reports in one big Power BI report uh, or Power BI dashboard that I call the control tower. So one big control tower that kind of oversees all the production issues that we have and how many they are and, and so on and so forth. For my own sake and for when I have to tell a good story to management, uh, there's a need for me to track the different issues and the development over time. Um, I could probably come up with some sort of elaborate scheme using SQL version history to tracking something like that to get an understanding of the development over time. Or I could simply just make a simple script that opens a website, takes a screenshot and saves the, uh, the content of the screenshot in a specified folder with a date timestamp. Uh, that way, if I ever have to, and then I just plug it into Power Automate Cloud and it runs every day. And then if I have to do a presentation, I have to compile some numbers and I can always go back to a specified date and see what the number of the error uh, in scope was at that point in time and then track the development from there. It's easy, it's simple, uh, but it alleviates um, or it, it eliminates some of the issues that I have at, have at work um, and it just does it automatically, which is nice. That's use case number one. Use case number two is um, having Power Automate open SQL Server databases and perform routine queries. Uh, you can probably also get away with using other types of uh, applications to do that, but you can integrate that into Power Automate also to connect to a SQL database and run the scripts uh, that you need to and get that automated. Third use case, not actually a use case that I have uh, or not actually a problem that I have in my current position, but it was, it was something similar I was faced with in my old position in my old company. Um, it was finance tasks or it was basically Excel tasks. It was a compiling of different uh, data costs and prices and uh, cost savings uh, on different projects that I was running that needed to be perform performed at a specified date every month. Um, well, actually two times a month, but that's besides the point. But it forced me kind of to to be at work or at least have access to a computer on those specified specified dates because the the numbers would change um, depending on what day you were um, were looking at. Um, and if you didn't do it at this at this specific date, then it would roll over to the next day, and the numbers might have changed. The uh, system wasn't really that great to handling these things, but that was what we had. Um, but it basically boiled down to the fact that I had to be there at those days to run the reports and do basic arithmetic uh, in Excel to get the exact numbers on those on those different days. Um, something no one should have to be spellbound to the desk to do. Uh, so I took that as an example and I showed how you can use Power Automate Desktop to automate your Excel tasks. And once you have it set up, if if the if the process is structured, so if the reports are the same uh, over time, the only thing that changes is the concept, not the structure of the report, then you can automate it and have it run at whatever specified time you need it to. It's quite simple. 
uh, that was use case number three. Use case number four um, wasn't actually an issue that I was faced with myself, but I found a guy from India uh, posting on Reddit that he had a uh, hundred different PDF files uh, with a bunch of different questions in them and he needed to extract every question uh, from every uh, every PDF file and save each question. It was math questions. He needed to save each question um, or take a snip of it and then save it in a folder in some sort of uh, format. Uh, and he did it. He didn't want to do it on his own because that would take him years and years or at least a very long time. So he asked if anybody could help him automate it. Power BI or Power Automate Desktop can do that as well. Um, so I showed him how to set it up for one PDF file and it's just a copy paste across all the PDF files. And it can run all night, it can run all day, it can run until it's done. And that would save him some time and learn him also a new tool. Uh, and then the last one, the uh, last use case of today is the extraction of content from PDF files. So. The other example was uh, was was snips of uh, content from the PDF file taken and stored, but you can actually also, even though it's a flat a, a PDF file or even if it's an image, if you have content or if you have if you have words written on the either on the PDF file or on the image, you can extract those words at least to a high degree um, of probability using the OCR engine that is available in Power Automate Desktop. It's a great tool. Um, and it's so simple, it's it's one action drag and drop and you point it to the PDF file and it will just extract all the content and all the text from that file. So you could use that uh, in a situation where you can use it in a bunch of different situations. But the example I gave was that maybe you're the person who sits in a company who receives the information of sales invoices from your clients. And you need to keep track of the ones that you have sent out and the ones that you have uh, received back with the actual payments and the difference or the delta between those two. If someone is late with their payments or whatnot, um, you can use the OCR engine and Power Automate Desktop to grab a hold of the different names and other content that's shown on the invoice. Um, and once you have it out, once you have it in a variable, you can use that to populate Excel fields or SharePoint lists uh, and do calculations on when you received the invoice, when the invoice was, uh, when the payment was received back and whether that was done on time or not. Or you can say whether you, uh, when you sent the invoice and then if you haven't received it yet, whether it's overdue, whether you need to charge an extra fee or whatever it might be. You can do that. Again, as long as it's structured, you can do that using Power Automate Desktop. So five good use cases, a lot of them are from my own life. Um, or at least based in, in situations that I've faced uh, professionally myself. And I hope that in convinces you at least uh, a bit um, to start looking into these tools. I have a lot more um, content on my profile with a lot of more uh, different use cases also. So if you find any of this interesting, I have links to all the also the use cases that I've mentioned here today. I have links to them in my profile where I, where I built the solutions from scratch. And I post a video every week with new content and new use cases, um, either with Power Automate Desktop or other uh, analytics tools that I am um, self-proclaimed expert in.